Hi guys, Rex is here with a new video and today we are not on my account, we are on the account of a good friend of mine and what we are about to do is clear Shadow SL. There, Shadow SL 21. Currently he is at the boss for 22 and we are going to use a special setup. I mean, the old setup was like uh, Gustin um, V4, Onki Rimaru E4 and the main damage dealer was uh, Eloise. Um, now it can actually be done with Starwing Jara and a bunch of 5 star Annabelle copies. In best case you would have 5 5 star Annabelle copies and a big Starwing Jara. Uh, we have just 4, so I built this little dude to burn the enemies a bit. Won't do much, but I thought it would be the best choice at this point. What is important is that those Annabelles are at least level 100 don't have to be much higher. Um, the reason you use her is the following, that's the fourth passive of her. When she dies, she inflicts reinforcement spell one for three rounds. And in contrast to, uh, in contrast to her active skill, this can also inflict bosses. That means you can get this on the boss and on um, one of his, his minions thereby negating the active on turn 2 and taking way less damage. What is important is mainly the setup on Starving Jara and the stats you have. Um, we have two point, nearly 2.2 million attack right now. Um, it is recommended to have, have at least 1.6 million and um, those are the imprints. We are go for, going for speed, lethal fightback for a bit of extra damage, Attribute Reduction Purify, um, Growth again for uh, an even more speed and Balance Strike for a bit of extra damage and of course heal. Um, stone, Crit Crit Damage Attack and we go for A and B for even more speed and of course uh, for taking less damage. Our Void Imprints are Damage Reduction, Crit and Control Immunity. The enemies tend to inflict Twine which is really annoying and um, this whole run includes a lot of RNG and a lot of fails probably um, due to getting twined. So let's set this up and see how the first fight goes. So we do battle, um, put our SFX in, <laughs> SFX, <laughs> uh, Starring Jara. Um, put this guy here and go like this, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's see how this goes. Ah, speed one, that's not what we want. Oh, big damage here. And instantly twined. Yeah, great. Okay. Can deal with that. <laughs> I thought that was a fail, but good. <laughs> I can live with the nuke. That's great. I'm uh, going to get twined here and well this time no nuke. But the uh, basic is pretty strong as well, pretty good damage. I mean we are nowhere near dying and nuking everything, so that's that's just great. Next stage. I'm even considering skipping a few because I don't see us getting challenged anywhere soon, maybe in 25, but not in the next stage. Yeah, let's just skip this victory. Can even skip the boss here, probably. Yeah, victory just nuked to death. Um, let's see how it is in 24. Still pretty big damage. I mean, it's all about the twine RNG, really. If you get twined um, for 15 rounds, we can just can't attack and uh, all of our damage will be worth nothing. Yeah, and here you can see we get one twine after the other. And those rounds... Yeah, never had a chance to attack. But th this is just RNG. Uh, in the next fight, we will get one or two rounds to attack and uh, it won't be a problem. 
but especially those uh, this first round includes a lot of rng because those guys like to twine they really do and it can be really annoying we just need this one round where she doesn't get twined but every time you see the c tier it's basically a loss Probably a few more turns where she doesn't get twined. Yeah, the first rounds are especially good for dealing damage because um, they have this Annabelle spell on them, uh, so they can't attack that easily. Now in this later rounds, of course, they all do attack and uh, we can't. If this fight doesn't work, we will just smash a few probably because this is really just RNG, we don't have to change anything. We have CI, uh, we have everything we might need. It's just a question of getting a bit lucky. Okay, uh, let's just smash f f like four or five fights and see how it goes. Yeah, a victory. We just need that one round in the later rounds. Uh, this will probably not be a problem, so won't this. And uh, in general, those later stages are a lot easier than the first one. That is actually true for a lot of sealants, not just uh, Shadow. Uh, looking at the damage, that still looks kind of good. We start to take a little bit of damage here, but that's fine, I think. Um, the next active should finish it if we are able to do it. Yeah. Oh, it didn't. Yeah, still over. 15 rounds. Wasn't that great RNG, but it worked out. Now we are back to this wonderful stage. I think we'll just go for a few skips. Not worth even seeing this. It's just yeah, a lot of twines. We got lucky, actually. Very nice. Um, we can skip those as well because uh, this is, those, are, those are just easier stages. Um, here again, we have the mix of um, the warriors and the mages. I think it's a warrior and mages. Uh, so of course, it again includes a lot of twine. Maybe look at one. Just want to see if a uh, starring jar is dying. Don't think so. Shouldn't at least. No, doesn't seem like it. So again, we're just twined and uh, don't die. And it just takes a few more hits than we could. Yeah, okay. So this again uh, is just a question of RNG. We are skipping here and sooner or later this should work. Because we have the damage, we have the survivability. It's just a question of throwing gems at it it clears. Here it is. And now last stage, boss stage, of course we are looking at 25 clear here. Oh, that's interesting. They all died. Have to rewatch that. Didn't quite see what they died to. And none of the enemies actually got... Uh, yeah, okay, in turn 10 of course they don't have it anymore, but this actually looks kind of promising if we don't get twined. Oh, got twined a bit too much. This damage at the beginning, this was very strange. Have to uh, look more closely and see what it does. Seems to be passive of the boss. And we get twined to hell and back. But the damage is just insane. All those awakening sums and stuff just gives you so much damage. I mean, heroes nowadays have like four or five million attack um, if you upgrade like everything. It was impossible. I, I remember a while back uh, where CCL of four million was great. And nowadays, um, you have like 41 million CCL um, on like one hero. And 
can be normal. And I mean, in uh, a few months, maybe we will see like uh, 200 million CCL or something. I myself have achieved uh, 100 million recently. This is again a loss, sadly, the twine again. And uh, only a matter of time till people max more residences and uh, achieve even higher numbers. It's just insane. But I guess it's the game, it's the progress of the game. Nothing too special. Actually, our controlling unity worked a few times there. Look promising now and again, though. One twine after the other. Which isn't that great. Yeah, turn 15 again. I mean, it's honestly, it's the same thing as in all other uh, fights we've done before. Um, we just have to get that one fight where they don't die. Uh, where we don't get twined, I mean. I was just thinking about the minions dying too early. But uh, in reality, we just need her to not get twined every single turn. That's great. Now it's just no twines at all. Yeah, and it worked out. Yeah, great. 8 trillion damage. SL25 finished. Uh, I think I will sh uh, show the house. I haven't done that at the beginning. Some of you may care about it. Um, some decent stats. I didn't bother to upgrade the Ithaca to save some gems. Um, we have a transcendence flag on Halora uh, and some 25% attack artifacts on the other heroes. Uh, wouldn't actually need that HP aura, but the stats around 70s uh, seem to be quite good. As I said, 1.6 uh, million attack on Starving Jara is proven to be working as well. Also showing Galactic Tree, the star spawns. Very good star spawns in my opinion. 3, 140, 2, 125, 1, 120. So we were working with, sol with solid material here, I have to say. Well, anyway, guys, um, hope you had a lot of fun watching this SL25 clear, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.